Have you heard the news? Mickey Mouse is set to become a killer. Ah! Well, not quite, but we may be seeing him in a whole new way this year. Let me explain. Mickey Mouse made his screen debut in the 1928 animated short Steamboat Willie. It was considered groundbreaking at the time due to its use of synchronized sound and it catapulted Mickey Mouse into international stardom and into hearts across the world. 1928, that's nearly 100 years ago. More like 95, actually. To be precise, Steamboat Willie officially entered its 96th year on the 1st of January 2024. And that's where the problem lies. Because it's now entered the public domain. So what does that mean? Basically, the copyright has run out. And as with all historical works, it now belongs to the people, or the public domain. This means that people are now free to use Steamboat Willie and its characters without fear of copyright infringement. Well, in the US anyway, because copyright laws vary in each country. And people are doing just that. On the 1st of January, a trailer for a horror film starring Mickey Mouse was released, alongside a couple of violent video games. Not very in keeping with the image of the Mickey Mouse we all love. <coughs> the Disney Corporation has fought against this, and in the past, they successfully lobbied the US government to have the law changed, twice, in order to protect their character. But the new law gives copyright protection for a maximum term of 95 years. And guess what? Time's up. January 2024 marked the end of that period, and the start of the free-for-all. So does this mean anyone can use Mickey Mouse now? Well, not exactly. There have been many iterations of Mickey over the last 95 years, and most of them are still within their copyrighted period. In fact, it's only the Steamboat Willie version of Mickey that can be used freely, and things like his white gloves and the whites of his eyes, which came in later years, are still off limits. And the name Mickey Mouse is a Disney trademark, so that can't be used either, as trademark and copyright are two different things. But this is still a pretty big deal for Disney, right? Mickey Mouse is one of the most recognized characters in the world and synonymous with the Disney brand. So having him show up in a slasher movie as a killer is not exactly a good look. Although the character hasn't always been as squeaky clean as you may think. The early Mickey had some less desirable character traits. He was seen drinking, smoking, being a bit of a bully to some piglets and their mum. And, not to mention, being a bit handsy with Minnie. Oh boy! It wasn't until a few years later that Mickey was made more family friendly and Donald Duck was introduced to be the naughty, angry one which allowed Mickey to play the good guy. So, what about this horror movie? As I said, the trailer for Mickey's Mousetrap was released on the 1st of January with the film set to release in March this year. My first thought was, oh, that looks good. I like horror films and I love Mickey Mouse, so I should probably like it. And then I thought about it and I thought, actually, I don't want to see my childhood hero going around stabbing people and being a murderer. The whole idea of it made me feel pretty affronted. How typical. The character goes into public domain and the first thing the public do is abuse him. It's a bit like when you give a child a dictionary and the first thing they do is look up all the naughty words. Grow up. And then I got off my high horse and thought, ah, it's just a bit of fun, probably. After thinking it over and re-watching the trailer, I don't think it's that bad, really. For starters, it clearly depicts a human wearing a Mickey Mouse mask. So somebody dressed up in a costume. It's not the real Mickey. I think it would have been in poorer taste if it had been animated, because that would have been closer to the original. Whereas this is clearly not the real Mickey. So I think I would watch it, actually. And after all, I can only critique it properly once I've seen it. And as an independent film, it's nice to see something that's not under the control of the big studios who seem to have the whole of Hollywood in their grip. God, can you imagine if Universal or Warner Brothers released this? Now, this is not the first time a beloved character has been depicted this way. 2023 saw the release of Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, a horror film starring A.A. A. Milne's lovable characters whose copyright expired last year. The film caused a lot of controversy among fans, and although it was met with negative reviews, 
it did actually do quite well financially and a sequel is set to be released next month. So what do you think about this? Will you be watching the horror films or do you think they're in poor taste? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you'd like to look back on 100 years of Disney and see what other films made an impact, then watch this video now.